Normal modem in operation is as simple as selecting the load menu, picking one of the pre-configured settings, so 413 in this case, and hitting run. And you will see the locomotive start to move forward, and it will start to learn which sensor is at which end of the track. One of the features that we've included in case that you need to stop the equipment or pause it during operations is a handy stop button. As you can see the locomotive comes to a stop fairly quickly as soon as I hit stop. For tuning the speed we've also included a manual function which allows you to tune speed up, speed down, forward and back. Now looking at it from the back Here's what the motorman takes. You have our power input here, which is provided with the motorman, a 12 volt, 3 amp wall supply, UL rated. You have the track output power here, which connects to this terminal block. And you have the connectors over here, which take in the, uh, the train spotter infrared sensor wires. So it provides power and ground for each of the sensors as well as has inputs for the left and right end stops as well as the, as well as the uh, midpoints. It also has a programming header here such that when we do release firmware updates either to fix bugs or add new feature, features you can one of, use one of our programming adapters to flash the firmware onto the device yourself. So they are upgradable. 